What? Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, Perrin here, and in today's video we're actually gonna go over some of the, well, the opening of Chainsaw Man, and uh, I believe it's five uh, endings for the Chainsaw Man, and uh, yeah, we're gonna kind of break it down from more, more of a music producer's perspective, so I'm kinda, I'm gonna go into it, uh, break it down, as well as react to it, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that, and uh, yeah, let's get into it, check out the opening, and then we're gonna do endings. Alright, so here it comes, this is the opening for... Chainsaw Man. Straight away, super sick bass line. I love it. It has such a good vibe, man. Also, it's pretty fast, right? The BPM is around probably around 160 or something like that. Ooh, the guy's vocals, man. Oh, that is sick, man. Go power. A. Oh, cool glitch. Effects there. Woo! Okay. Cool breakdown. Oh, the drums are going insane. Woo! Dude, such a great um, vocal melody. Oh, this just makes me smile, man. There's so much going on. I'll break it down after. Such a cool uh, ending as well. Man, this is insane. It's so fast, though. <laughs> the visuals are cool, too. Yeah, as you could tell, it's like super fast. It's, it's basically almost like a metal song, right? But there's a lot of like glitch elements. Uh, there's a really cool distorted baseline at the beginning. So yeah, we're gonna go over it, break it down, uh, so you guys can learn a little bit more about the track, I guess. Yeah. So we're starting off with this very distorted uh, baseline. It could be like a slap bass. Um, a lot of like these glitch effects could be like a um, like a synth or something like that. Yeah, reverse synths. And yeah, we just go into this like very fast paced drums with also another git uh, with a guitar pan to the right. It's, it's slightly, you can you can barely hear it. But yeah, heavily distorted as well. And also we got this guy's amazing vocals, right? He's got such a nice, like, uh, raspy vocals when he needs to use it. Whenever he's just singing the melody, it's quite, it's quite smooth, but he really gives that raspy accent to it at, at so, some words. Oh! Yeah, just now another guitar came in, uh, pan to the uh, left side. So now we have two different guitars, interesting. We had a little cool feel on the drums. Yeah, again. Yeah, the drum feels are going crazy. And we have this cool breakdown here. Um, sorry, the chorus. My bad. Yeah, we can have, we again have like these very weird, like almost PC sounding like glitch effects in there. Woo, guitar are going crazy. Yeah, a lot of reverb uh, kind of sounds like there's also a little bit of delay on the guitars. They sound pretty big. Yeah, and this this ending is quite f quite full, right? A lot of like uh, glitch effects, a lot of guitars, uh, the drums, the vocals. And throughout the whole song, we had like uh, different uh, sound effects. We had the guitar. Uh, sorry, not the guitar. The chainsaw at the beginning, and then um, like some kind of scream uh, over here. But yeah, overall, a very cool opening. Now we have the ending, uh, first ending. Okay. 
for a second, I thought it was like ACDC just because of the drum pattern. Leaving it. Ooh! Dude, I'm loving, I'm loving the vibe on these um, endings and just intros. It's like a, you know, metal rock sound to it. Almost punk as well, right? Woo. Oh! Oh, the drums are going crazy. Oh, beautiful vocals, man. Yo, Woo! going up uh, in the ha in, in the octave. Oh damn! This is such a tune, man. I gotta say, Chainsaw Man's definitely got some of the best songs for sure, for sure. Oh! Wow! Wow! What's going on with the panning on the on the symbols? That's crazy. We had like some kind of one symbol on the left, one symbol on the right, and they were just changing. Um, Whenever they're playing. Yeah, let's go into it and break it down. So again, we're starting off with, obviously, it's Chainsaw Man. So we're starting off with a Chainsaw sound effect. And yeah, we have this distorted guitar, right? Playing the melody. Very punchy drums. With uh, four to the floor on the kick. Very crispy uh, hi-hats, though. Yeah, I love this breakdown just here when the drums come in and they play a different pattern. Oh. Almost like a half time to it. I really love how the guy uh, doing the vocals is doing like little ad libs, right? Um, or back in vocals. And they just go full ham on the chorus. Open hi-hats. Very nice uh, harmonizing of the guy's vocals here with the um, with his with his vocal and the backing vocals, right? What a tune! Yeah, I love this part. Maybe what they did is with the oh, maybe that's what they did with the drums. Okay, they probably have two microphones on the sides of the of the drums, right? One's recording the right side, and the uh, and the left one is recording the left side, obviously. So that's like the room. Uh, microphones, uh, probably for the symbols. That's why he hits the um, the symbols on the right. You can really hear it pan to the right side, and when he's doing the ones on the left, you can hear it on the left. So that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, definitely. He's going. Yeah, cool. Yep, that was sick. That was sick. Damn. That's kind of that's kind of a nice use of the microphones. It's a really cool and uh, like a uh, effective way of recording the drums. As uh, I guess they probably mic'd up the the snare and the kick, and then maybe they just left like uh, two room microphones pointing left and right. Um, yeah, very cool, very cool. All right, that's the ending number two. Ooh, dude, I love the basses, man. Oh! Wow. We got a girl vocal, okay. Woo! 
Oh, dude. I think this one's my favorite so far. Oh. Oh. We got a trumpet. Okay. Oh, man. And a piano? Oh, this is funky. I love that little guitar, man. It's pan to the right. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this is funky, man. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. I'm not sure if this is the same band. I'm gonna have to look into it, but these guys are... Oh! Oh, I love the high-pitched vocals. Woo! Wow. Wow. Yeah, in this one, a lot more going on in terms of instruments. We had the uh, trumpet come in. We had the piano come in. Um, obviously, we had the bass line, the guitars, and the drums, and the amazing vocals from the girls. Let's go over it and see if I can pick out some other things. Ooh, okay, some uh, cool, like, atmospheric effect at the beginning. Wow. Yeah, the crazy uh, bass, li bass line, man. And uh, yeah, I love this, um, like, funky drums, you know? Yeah, so the snares you go, instead of having the snare on two and four, you got, the, you got it on three, right? Really cool guitar here, pan to the left, is just playing like a um, couple notes. Barely can hear it, but it's there. And yeah, we just get this trumpet here playing the melody. Another guitar, different guitar, pan to the right here. Keeping the drums and um, the girls' vocals in the middle. There's actually another guitar pan to the left. Okay. I like what they're doing. They're panning a lot of instruments, uh, you know, making the stereo image quite uh, big, leaving the, obviously, the drums uh, and um, the vocals in the middle. Oh! Yeah, and the piano just came in. It all works so perfectly. Wow. And there, the high pitched vocals on the back end vocals. Yeah. This last chorus here uh, has a lot of instruments. I believe there's even the pianos, the guitars, the trumpets, everything came in here till the end. And she does that really cool thing with the high pitched back backing vocals. Uh, yeah, great. This was my favorite so far, for sure, for sure. All right, ending number three. Oh, this one's gonna be dark, eh? Wow. This probably is like a drop D guitar or something. Oh my god, dude! Oh! Oh! I'm loving the drums being played on the toms. What?! Holy dude! What? <laughs> this is amazing! I love this like metal vibe to it with these glitched vocals and... <laughs> what? No, there's no way they just did that to me.
Are you gonna just switch from this to that? I believe it's probably the same guy doing a high-pitched voice. Or is it a girl? It switched to like a clean the guitar. Jesus! This track is destroying me! Wow. And we're back into that a heavy guitar. I think it's dropped an octave on the guitar. It's so low. Wow, 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 wow. So, so yeah, the f <laughs> this one was insane. Just the complexity of it must have been insane. Yeah, we've got this guitar heavily distorted. Probably dropped an octave lower. Or it's bass. I can't even tell. It could be just bass or a guitar that's dropped lower. Alright, it might, it, might, it might be just a bass line, yeah, but we got a, we got a uh, guitar just came in on the left. And we have this chanting, uh, <laughs> saying uh, demon, right? And even the vocals are so distorted, they almost sound like a guitar. Yeah. And this build up on these drums, so the, he's playing the tom, um, and, and it's just almost, it's like satanic, man. Sa the same thing that going on with the, uh, with the crashes, the pan left and right. And we just go into this mental, like, break beat. Glitched. I don't even know, man. It's everything so distorted in this part. You got the guy screaming in your right ear, so distorted. The guitars on the left. The guy in the middle shouting something. And we just go into like this peaceful. I believe maybe like a girl singing this. <laughs> And uh, all the, like, distortion is just it completely taken off from the guitars. We've got some cymbals being played, like a tangerine or something. <laughs> oh, man. So cool. And there's a lot of change, I love it. We got the fuck. Yeah, that's definitely like some metal sc screams. Wow. <laughs> that was heavy. They really love to do this like glitch effect. Oh, glitch style. A lot, again, a lot of panning going on. Woo! I'm digging the vocals from the guy for sure. <laughs> this one's more playful. That one's cool. What a funky synth on uh, <laughs> playing the melody. So highly pitched though. Woo! <laughs> I loved it. Is this gonna go crazy? Oh, that. So yeah, this one's uh, <laughs> a lot more like chill down, you know? It's definitely not going insanely into metal. There's a lot of playing around with percussion. Um, 
we got the tambourines or some kind of cymbals playing and this crazy synth very highly pitched And again, a bunch of instruments, pans. I'm not gonna go into the pannings. And I really dig it. I'm really digging the guy's vocals, especially when he does like um, double layers, um, like here with the backing vocals. But yeah, what I've realized is all the endings are very glitchy, right? Very, very glitchy. <laughs> I would say pretty unconventional. Uh, sounds in here uh, or instruments they're very um, well except uh, you know the drums and the guitars and stuff like that I'm talking about the leads and the um, little ear candies <laughs> I gotta say it's probably my least favorite from all of them but it's, it's still good <laughs> I think that's my favorite part. Oh, like the notes being off pitch or like uh, at, the <laughs> at the end it turns a little bit demonic too. All right, and this is the newest uh, ending number five. Some xylophone being played. Very cool radio effect on the vocals. Ooh. That was interesting. Those were not acoustic kicks in the beginning. Sounded more EDM. Is this gonna... Oh, so disturbing, man. Is this gonna be more electronic? Oh man. Yep. <laughs> Trap snares rolls. Okay. Oh. Cool breakdown. I love the mix of genres though. Whew. So glitchy there. It's gonna be like a synth or like a xylophone mixed with a synth. It sounds very cool. Wow, yeah, in this one we heard a lot more uh, electronic instruments, right? The previous ones we had a lot of um, like glitch ear candy and like glitch sounds, but not fully uh, electronic sounds. It was mainly, you know. Uh, acoustic guitars, drums, and um, oh, basses and vocals, right? But uh, this one's a lot more electronic. And yeah, I really like what they did here with the vocal. It sounds kind of um, like a radio effect, right? Basically, what they did is take off the EQ on the low end and the high end, uh, boosted the middle, and it kind of sounds like that, right? Yeah, and here we have like a cl classic uh, riser mixed with those, uh, I guess, more of an EDM style drums, uh, kicks. But then we go into this piano. I really love what he's doing with the vocals. And this weird like breakdowns throughout this whole song. <laughs> Oh, that sounded almost like some heartbeat. Yeah, right there. Ah, that's disturbing. Change the sound effects. 
Ich kann gang loaded, okay. Guitar on the left, piano on the right. And then, yeah, we had these uh, trap snare rolls. It goes brr, brr, right? Used a lot in trap. Or I guess EDM too. And super cool, like, breakdown. Snare on the three. Boom. Again, very complex song. Like for all of them as well. Yeah, that one was for sure a lot more electronic um, in terms of the song, right? Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you enjoyed me kind of breaking it down from more of a music producer's perspective. Maybe you found out some things about the songs that you haven't heard before. Uh, so yeah, that'll be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out Patreon if you want to see these videos earlier. Stuff like that. Uh, bye.